Hey everybody, this is Mark Spect the Comics and I'm here today with a special guest. What's up guys? This is Kevin right here, Superpower Reviews. We're hanging out here at the uh, Rainham Flea Market today. Got some cool books. Stick around and you check out what we got. Hey everybody, I'm back. It's Mark Spect the Comics here. So, uh, you saw a little bit of the intro, as you can tell that me and Kevin, Superpower Reviews, we went to uh, the Rainham Flea Market on Sunday. I wanted to get this out yesterday, but uh, had a busy day once I got back home from the flea market, had to do some errands, and before you know it was already dinner time, so I <laughs> didn't have any time to record. So this is uh, Monday night, did a long day of work, tired. Have myself a little beer here, um, and uh, wanted to talk to you about my uh, my haul with uh, and you know good time with Kevin at the uh, Random Flea Market. So um, previously, I did a haul there with um, with Carlos, Los, and uh, Rayman, and we had a good time as well. Difference was we went there nice and early at like 8 a.m. A lot of the vendors weren't open, so um, went. On Sunday at noon, and it was a completely different ball game. All the shops were open, place was packed inside, and um, we got to go see some of the vendors that we were, you know, the previous time closed. Everything was open, so um, there was four shops all together, and uh, they had a ton of books. I'll uh, show you some clips real quick. And then we'll get to the hall. There we go. Just oh. checking out the scene. We got Kevin up in here. Say what's up, Kevin. Nothing. No wave. No nothing. What the hell kind of ocean is this? Look at these beauties we got right over here. So uh, hopefully you like that. Um, there was some, as you can see, some pretty big books there. There was a Daredevil number one, Iron Man number one, um, first appearance of John Constantine, first Galactus. We saw um, first Punisher there. I know Kevin was was uh, staring at it a little bit because he wanted to get that book, um, but I don't believe it was the grade that he wanted. But um, we did a lot of hunting. It was a blast. Um, we got to do it again, Kevin. I had so much fun. Um, it was a lot, a lot of people there, though. A lot of people uh, compared to, to last time when I went. So it was getting a little, a little crowded in certain areas, and I could tell, uh, you know, Kevin was getting a little, uh, a little anxious at times, which was, <laughs> which was funny. But uh, we got some good, we got some good footage there. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed that. So uh, what I do? So I ended up picking up. Um, let's see how many books. One, two, four, five, six. Six books total. One, two, three, four, five, six books total. Um, this time was mainly focusing on trying to get some of my Moonlight run completed. I wanted to get my um, first run particularly. Completed as you know the first run of uh, Moon Knight volume one has uh, 38 issues I've been slowly picking them up as I go I want to get you know more on the nicer range of grades 
I did see a, a few uh, beater copies there in one of the shops that I didn't end up picking up, which now I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I should have picked them up anyways just to have it. But I'm sure I'll find them again. But um, in no particular order, like I said, I bought six books. I spent, I think I spent like 35 bucks this time. So it wasn't too bad. One of the books cost, you know, vastly, was vastly more expensive than the rest of them. So um, I found this book. I thought this was a pretty nice little cover because I had uh, Moon Knight, uh, Punisher, and Spider-Man on there. So this is uh, Mark Spector Moon Knight, number 21. Got a nice little cover. I forget who does this cover. Um, and it's a newsstand, which is cool. So that was uh, three bucks. Um, this one was from the... Uh, Let's see, the first uh, Moonlight run. This is um, issue number 12. There you go. Picked that up for four bucks. This was the uh, first appearance of Morpheus, which is like a little minor key. I was glad I picked this up for four bucks because it's, it's starting to get a little bit, you know, a little pricey, even though there's been rumors that this uh, villain may show up in the uh, series. So I was happy to get that book. Um, and it's uh, direct. Direct the, the direct editions you want to get for the lower the lower Moon Knight runs, and uh, this next issue is issue 13. Nice little cover there with uh, featuring the Daredevil. Really cool. And you can see his, you know Moon Knight's cape all spread out on the front cover. Really nice. And um, this was three bucks. I was hoping that they had issue 14 there. I've been hunting for issue 14 for a while. Um, can't find it in the wild for uh, a decent price. I've only seen it once in the uh, Comic Con, but it was well overpriced and the condition kind of was, was pretty crappy. And if you're not familiar with the uh, issue 14, that's um, the first appearance of Scarlet, Scarlet uh, Stained Glass Scarlet, that's what it's called. So, uh, still looking for that book. Um, this book I picked up at a different shop. This was the uh, shop that was open previously when I went with Rayman and Carlos. This is, uh, I think this is five bucks. This is Vision and the Scarlet Witch, number one. Um, this is a spec book, obviously, uh, with the um, Vision and the Scarlet Witch uh, Disney Plus show coming. I figured I'd pick this up. Nice cover as well. And it's in really nice shape. So that's that book. Um, picked this up at the previous shop that I, I showed the first book for, and this is uh, Mark Spector Moon Knight, issue number 31. This is the first time I've seen this cover in the wild. This is an awesome, awesome cover. Gotta love the black cover. You got like a, almost like a psychotic looking Moon Knight in this cover. He's all like arched back. He has his hands all like clenched like that, you know. And then you got the uh, contrast there with the candles burning with the trade on the, the Moon Knight there. So it's just a very nice, you know, contrast. And uh, this was three bucks, so this is really nice. So, great cover. And then the last book, I ended up picking this up at the, um, the first shop we went to, which is the only book I bought there. Um, when uh, this other guy and, and Kevin were looking at that uh, first appearance of Punisher. And they had this book in the uh, back issue bin. And it's the first time I've seen this book too in the wild. And, you know, it wasn't really, it just doesn't come up often, I guess, for uh, Moon Knight collectors. And this is Werewolf by Night, issue number 37. Ended up getting this for 20 bucks, which I thought was a pretty good price. Um, it's, it's in decent condition. It's probably like a fine, fine plus. Could definitely benefit from a, a cleaning, especially in the back cover. It definitely needs some cleaning. And then when I uh, opened this up, I had to open this up because this book came out in the 70s, just to make sure I had that nice, uh, you know, that comic book smell that you want, you know? Yeah, it definitely does. Definitely has that nice old comic book smell, almost 50 years aged. Great colors. Look at these colors. Let's see here. Just absolutely great colors. 
from a book that's 50, essentially 50 years old. And uh, I was, you know, so happy to finally get this book in the collection. This is, uh, if you don't know, this is the third appearance of Moon Knight, Mark Spector Moon Knight. And uh, it's a nice cover too. You got a little bit of uh, that horror, you know, Bronze Age horror covers that I, I typically go after. But uh, yeah, that's the that was the pickups. Um, I said didn't pick up too many books. Did pick up a little bit more than last time, but uh, it, it was more about just like you know going out there, you know, hanging out with Kevin. I didn't think he was gonna come out initially as well. Um, I thought I was gonna go solo. So when he hit me up in the morning, I was, I was pretty excited to hear that he was coming out and doing some hunting as well. So like I said, I had a blast with Kevin. Uh, Super Power Reviews. Oh, thanks again for that shout out. I appreciate it. I watched the uh, the video yesterday and then uh, a little bit of today's uh, live view video. So that was really nice. I did pick up some uh, new subscribers, so I appreciate that. And uh, thanks to the uh, new subscribers as well. Every subscriber that joins the channel, I'm utmost uh, appreciative. And I'm getting closer to that 450 mark. So once I get there, I'm going to do my uh, 500 or road to 500 uh, contest. So stick, stay tuned for that. So um, if you like that, please hit that thumbs up. Make sure you have that bell notification on so you get my uh, latest content when it does come out. And if you, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So uh, until next time, this is Mark Spectre Comics. Out.